Greetings and namaste. Today I am going to show you how to set up a very, very basic Bogota, which is also known as an ancestor shrine for beginners. You do not have to have any initiations or be involved in any religious or spiritual systems in order to set up a little shrine in your home for your ancestors. Also, a few disclaimers before I get started. This is not my actual Bogota. This is a little sample Bogota that I have done just for you because how I was brought up, we do not record our sacred items such as our altars and Bogota. So this is just for you for display. Also, allow me to say that there is no set way to do it when you're doing a basic one. It, it can be more elaborate. You can put pictures of your ancestors. You can put um, their favorite items on there. So it's no rule on how to do it. But these are just the basics to get you started. Okay, and even these items back here are not necessary at first. Just anything that reminds you of people, of loved ones in your bloodline who have passed away or certain spirit guides. Also, it's good to have a Misa, an investigative Misa or Mass to find out who your spirit guides are if you are not familiar because this also deals with spirit guides, not just necessarily blood ancestors. Egun is one thing to where you have your, your stick or your palo or oba iku and then you can have your teha and different things like that. But this is just basic bobita. I'm not going into anything complicated. This is just step one for beginners, for someone who wants to begin to communicate with their loved ones and their spirit guides. The first thing I want to talk about is the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. You can have something of the earth elements, such as a plant, such as a bamboo, for good fortune. Um, you always want to have flowers as well. These flowers are a little warm, but it's just for the camera. Get them a nice bouquet of flowers. You want to have an element of water, a glass of water. And to be honest with you, since this is just a sample table, you should have seven glasses of water. There should be a big one for the Most High Creator, and then you should have your other six small glasses about this size, filled with fresh water. And even if you're not Christian, you don't believe in Christianity, or you didn't grow up in Christianity, it's always um, for your ancestors that were Christians, especially if you're African American, they grew up into that. It's still um, usually done if they put a cross on the bovida. For the element of fire, we have a white candle. Sometimes I use a blue candle depending on how I'm feeling with my ancestors this uh, on a particular week. So uh, when you get that bond with them, you'll kind of feel out what colors they want and you'll just know, you just something in you will just know what to use. Also a staple and necessity is Agua Florida, also known as Florida water. And it's like a type of, um, it's like a cologne and it makes it, it just really makes it feel so sacred. You can add incense as well for the air element and also Colonia 1800, which is another form of cologne that's often used in, um, westernized or latino misas and things like that in order to call their ancestors you can add their favorite cigarettes cigars you can add items such as rum aguardiente their favorite beer or anything on there and especially something that's always usually given is a cup of coffee and if you want to offer food it doesn't necessarily go on the table you can put it more on the floor but whatever you give them involving food, also known as adimu or a form of offering, you want to make sure that you do not use salt because the ancestors do not take salt. And you can also add a Bible. And you can just start by sitting there, meditating, breathing deep, sealing yourself in white because, you, because when you do this, this is calling spirits, not just the good spirits. This can call the wrong spirits to you. So you want to make sure you have something called Efum, a Castaria, in order to seal yourself. And you want to put it sometimes on your head and the back of your neck as you sit and meditate and make sure that you seal your aura so that the wrong things don't come into your aura field or your home or wherever you're doing your, your ancestor bowl at a table. And as you sit, you can say um, whatever prayers you're used to saying, whatever meditations you're used to saying, just go ahead and speak from the heart after you meditate and breathe deeply for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can put on um, spiritual music, such as gospel music, um, even if it's the Islamic call to prayer. And a lot of people would disagree with me about that, but you have so many different ancestors and spirit guides, and just because they passed away doesn't mean that they're automatically just totally aware of everything because there are steps to elevation. So if they were Christian, they were strict Christians, a lot of them, uh, the immediate ancestors are going to have that, still that bond with that with that paradigm. If they were strict Muslims, they're gonna still have that bond with that Islamic paradigm. If they were Buddhists, so you may wanna add a Buddha head or different things like that. Just respect them. You don't 
have to do those uh, t different religious systems or believe in them, but it is something to honor them. It's not about you. If you want to do a table for you, do an Ori table that specifically speaks to you. But this is for great grandmother, grandma, grandpa, children that passed away, um, aunts, uncles. This is for them. So you want to honor them. You can put their favorite candy bars, their favorite food, as long as it doesn't have salt. And also you'll know when they want something because you'll get certain cravings. Like I don't eat chicken, but every now and then I get a certain craving and that's their way of letting me know that that's what they want on their Adimu or their offering table. Once again, Adimu is usually an edible food offering. Please do not use salt. So this is just a beginning. And soon I will do a video on certain songs that you can use to invoke your ancestors and just different videos. This is just a basic beginning 101. So I reiterate, let's go through it again. We have the white candle, which is necessary. The element of air, or excuse me, the element of fire. We have the element of water, which is your glasses. You want seven to nine glasses on your bowl without one big one. And then the rest, the other six glasses about this size. If you're doing nine, still do your big one and then add the ones of this size. You want your earth element, which is some type of plant or bamboo. You want to add some beautiful flowers. Florida water. This helps attract them as well. Some type of cigar. Colonia 1800. And just for decoration or to call a particular spirit, usually these dolls are for a particular spirit guide, you can add some type of spirit doll. And a lot of people would argue that they only want to honor a certain race of ancestors, but you have, we're so, the humans nowadays, we are so miscegenated. You can have Irish ancestors, Italian ancestors, and don't think by ignoring them that you're going to help them because these spirits need elevation as well in order to, to come back and help you. But once again, this is not about this is not about what you want. This is about what they want in order so they can turn around and help you. Because by doing these things and remembering them, you are enriching your own soul and your own path in this life for your own elevation purposes, no matter if you believe in religion or not. So yeah, these are just examples. This is a, and I call this my EI fan. This is for my matriarchal bloodline, my maternal ancestors, all the way back to the first woman that ever lived. You can put an item for a, for a male spirit, a female spirit. You just freestyle it however you want. But the most important ingredient in activating your boveda are pure intentions and a good heart. And make sure that you're clean. Try to wear white because white is a protective color. Try to cover your head and have some effun or cascadia at hand. Just a second, I'm going to show you what cascadia is. This is cascadia or effun. And you can have this nearby at hand and it can go, it's powdered eggshell. It can go on the forehead or on the back of the neck in the form of a cross. This helps seal you from the wrong energies. And you want to make sure that your area is clean and it smells good because you wouldn't want to have guests in your house that you can see in a nasty house. So when you're calling your ancestors, you want to make sure that your home is nice, neat, smelling good and clean so that you can welcome them into a good area and bring the right type of spirits. Because you can get the wrong spirits that attach to you in a nasty environment. So you want to start it off on the right foot. So if you have any questions, feel free to inbox me or leave comments. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I always appreciate that. And I hope this helps you in step one. This is a very basic elementary demonstration of what a boveda looks like. And one more thing, the table is usually not this small. You want a table about the size of a card table or one of the type of long folding tables that you would use as a vendor or a picnic to get started and make sure that you have some type of white cloth, freestyle and decorate as you please, okay? Peace and namaste.